Good morning, year four. Uh, welcome to lesson five of our writing unit. So today's learning objective is to use appropriate adjectives, verbs, and adverbs to describe my character. And by appropriate, I mean the best, the most suitable, the most effective. And your success criteria is I can use appropriate adjectives to show how my to describe how my character looks. I can use appropriate verbs, so verbs are action words, to describe what my character does. And lastly, I can use appropriate adverbs to describe how my character behaves. So adverbs of manner, okay? So L-Y words and other adverbs like that. Let's continue. Okay, so today and tomorrow, we are going to be innovating. So that means we're going to do our shared write together where we describe another character based on the model text, but we make it our own. And I thought it'd be really fun if we described Veruca Salt. So Veruca Salt, you can see her picture on the screen there. She's another character from the book, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And I think it'd be nice to describe her because she's the complete opposite of Charlie. So where Charlie is sweet and polite and really nice, Veruca, on the other hand, is really spoilt, quite rude, quite mean, she's really greedy. I think she's a really interesting character. If you don't know anything about Veruca Salt, there is a link on YouTube that you can see on the screen. And that's just a, a short clip from the most recent film. Um, and it's the scene where she's being interviewed. So have a watch. Uh, that will help you when we obviously describe her. So that's a good one to have a look at. Okay, let's move on. Okay, let's get started. Um, there's a lot going on in this screen. I apologize, but we need all of this information here. We need to see all of this. So I'm going to start by looking at the boxing up grid right here, because that tells me what I need to include in the first paragraph. So it tells us in the first paragraph, we're going to introduce the character and you need to include these three points when you write it. So we need to know how the character finds the golden ticket, how does she feel and how old is she? Okay. And these are some of the language features we'll be covering. Right. This is the imitation, the Charlie Bucket one, and I'm going to use this to write my own. So we've got Winner of the last golden ticket, Charlie Bucket. That's there to make it look a bit like a headline because remember we're, we're reporters and this is a newspaper article. So that's the headline there. And we've got Meet Charlie Bucket, the last lucky winner of Willy Wonka's golden ticket. This delighted 10 year old was in his local shop when he spotted the brilliant flash of gold under the wrapper of his chocolate bar. That's it, it's a very short first paragraph. You can see in blue, we've got lots and lots of adjectives. In pink, we've got a verb. There are no adverbs, but that's fine. We're doing, we're writing two paragraphs today, so we can add an adverb in the second one. Based on that, I've done my innovation. So this is my idea. You can come up with your own. So I've got winner of the second golden ticket, Veruca Salt. That's my headline. Meet Veruca Salt, the next ecstatic winner to visit Wonka's Chocolate Factory. This 10-year-old princess had the help of hundreds of her father's employees to get her a golden ticket. Short and sweet done. I've covered how she finds the golden ticket, how old she is and how she feels. She feels ecstatic and that's a synonym for really, really happy. And it's perfect to describe her if you watch the video in the, in the first for the previous slide you'll see when she's being interviewed a clip from the film she has a huge smile on her face she really is ecstatic so that's mine i apologize my face is covering some of the text and in a minute after this video you'll get to write your own okay let's move on to the second paragraph okay so this is paragraph two another a very busy slide um, in the corner, we've got the boxing up grid. Remember, I always say we, this boxing up grid is, is invaluable when we write our own um, in the innovation and invention text. So this tells me what I need to do. So in paragraph two, we need to describe the character's personality. And all of these four points need to be included. 
what does the character say about finding the golden ticket? Who do they live with? So tell me a bit about their family. How do the family and friends describe her? And how do other people feel? So it could be family or it could be the neighbors or the friends. How do they feel about your character winning? I just spotted a spelling mistake. That's just whining. I'm so sorry, it should say winning. See, even teachers make spelling errors and it's always good to spot your error and correct it. So that should have a double M, winning. All about editing and improving and it's fine to make mistakes. So, we, um, we do need some speech. So here it tells you what we need to include. But remember, the learning objective, we're just focusing on the adjectives, verbs and adverbs, okay? Tomorrow we can move on to the, the rest. Although I'm not speaking about speech, I would like you to punctuate speech correctly. It's in there for a reason because some of you are struggling. So please do have a look at the model text and what I have as on the screen as an example to help you punctuate speech correctly. Right, this was the imitation text, the model text all about Charlie. And I'm not going to read it all. You can read it, it's, you do have it in your packs. Um, but he's used lots of different um, adjectives. There's lots of the verbs. <clears throat> there are no adverbs, but because it's in our learning objective and we're such brilliant writers, we can add it to our innovation. Right, so based on that, this is my innovation. I'll read it out to you. <clears throat> <clears throat> when asked about all the help she received to find the golden ticket, Veruca retorted shamelessly, and so they should help me. I deserve it. I wouldn't have let them rest in peace until they got me my ticket. The privileged young lady lives with her parents in a faraway city in a huge mansion. They have described the little girl as the perfect sweet darling who they would do anything for. In her father's factory, the employees who worked tirelessly have called Veruca a spoiled little brat who manipulates others into getting whatever she wants. They'll think it's unfair that such a greedy, immature, and overindulgent girl has been granted such an amazing opportunity. So if you can see in blue, these are all my adjectives, and I've changed them. I had to change them because Veruca is the total opposite. So instead of saying, you know, lovely, sweet boy, Charlie, I've got privileged. Privilege means um, people who who have no problems in life, they get whatever they want. That's Veruca, she's very privileged. Her parents give her anything she asks for. And her parents say she's perfect, sweet little darling. But the people who work in her uh, the father's factory, dad is very rich and he has lots of women working in his peanut factory. They said she's a spoiled little brat who manipulates that's a good verb there, manipulates when you um, kind of wrap people around your thumb. Yeah, wrap them around your little finger. When you make people, you kind of force them or you trick them into doing anything you ask for. You, man you manipulate them. And I've also got she's greedy, immature, overindulgent. It's a bit like being um, greedy. That's a synonym for greedy. And um, out in green here yeah, we've got I added an adverb there, adverb of manner. So look at how I'm writing. I wrote Veruca retorted. Retorted is a synonym for said, but it, it's when you say it in like the way I, I said it, they should help me. I'm retorting. I'm like saying it in almost like a factual, very formal and kind of an angry way. But she retorted shamelessly without shame. She's saying, yeah, they should help me. She's got no shame. She doesn't feel bad that they worked so hard for her. And the father's employees, employees are workers. It's a synonym for workers. Employees, they worked how? Tirelessly. So there's another adverb I just threw in. Because it's nice to have adverbs that adds detail. So that's my innovation. And now it's going to be your turn to write your innovation. 
Right, task time. Now you've all been given <clears throat> an innovative paragraph describing Veruca Salt, but the paragraphs are incomplete. To make them complete, you need to add appropriate adjectives, verbs, and adverbs in the missing places to describe her. So this on the screen here is what I've given orange and green group, the sheet that looks like this. Now listen very carefully, all of you. You have to add adjectives, so it's color-coded. So in all the blue spaces, that's a blue space, or on all the blue lines, blue means adjective, so add an adjective there. In the pink spaces, on all the pink lines, that's where you add verbs. And then obviously in, on the green lines, that's where you have to think of your own adverb. So that's what you've got. Um, I would like you to do copy these paragraphs in your books. However, red and blue, I don't mind if you write on the sheet. I've made the sheet so there's enough space for you to write words. And red and blue, you've been given a word bank. Um, and you just have to do adjectives and verbs. And blue group, just add adjectives. So they are differentiated. I've made them slightly easier. So have a look at your sheets. Please find the sheet that's for your group and complete it and have fun and put your best effort into it and take care with your spelling and lastly take a photo of your work and upload it please because your teachers would love to see your amazing work red and blue if you're writing on the sheet you can write online and then you don't need to upload but yeah i'll see you tomorrow when we do our last paragraph have fun bye